Sending custom metrics to Stackdriver is easy and powerful thanks to our API. We have a full walkthrough on the Stackdriver knowledge base. Basically, all you have to do is define your custom metric with name, value, and a timestamp and post it as JSON encoded data into our system using your Stackdriver API key. We have libraries for Ruby, Python, Perl, and other languages that take locally defined variables, convert them into the appropriate format, and submit them using your API credentials. Once the data is coming into Stackdriver, there's a few ways that you can use it. One is to create a new custom dashboard. We'll call this Custom Metrics. Add a chart to the dashboard, name it, choose Custom as the resource type, and then when you click in Metric Type, a list of all custom metric types that you're currently sending drops down. We can also use wildcards to get all custom metrics of a particular type. For example, all of our different RabbitMQ messages sent by the various resources, so you can compare them side by side. Unit lets you apply commonly used units to the custom metrics, and if you wish, you can aggregate resources by one of multiple ways. First though, let's check out this chart without aggregating. Now we can create a new graph that is aggregated to the average and see what the average of all of these similar custom metrics sent by different resources looks like. Now another way to consume custom metrics is via groups. Stackdriver automatically creates groups based on AWS tags, but you can also create custom groups based on multiple criteria like name, security group, region, and cloud account. Let's create a simple group of all of our resources with the word Cassandra in the name. As soon as we create our custom group, Stackdriver automatically pulls in the standard reporting metrics for all group resources. After that, you can add your custom metrics graphs just as you did in our custom dashboard. Note that the custom metric is not necessarily attached to the resources in the group, but by including it on this custom group page, we can use it as an indicator of our infrastructure status. As a reminder, you need to create an API key to send custom metrics into Stackdriver. To create one, you go into Account Settings, API Keys, and just click Create a New One. 